so I would I would suggest that we um, change the the wording of I think it's the third sentence to say that the village practice is to charge a minimum fee for every residence, whether or not occupied, if it is connected to the sewer. Okay. We don't charge a minimum fee if a property is not connected to the sewer. Got that, Carl? Um, yes, I've got that. I'm just making a note. Okay. Um, I entertain a motion to accept the minutes as amended. So moved. Or accept the am amendment to the minutes. I'll second that. And all in favor of accepting the amendment to the minutes, say aye. 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 Um, opposed? Okay. And all those in favor of accepting the amended minutes, say aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Say aye, Carl. I say aye, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Warrants and bills. We only had the couple of bills. Right. I'm sure we're going to get hit with a few more next month, next time. Um, I'll, I'll a make motion. a motion that we uh, approve the uh, three uh, bills as presented in the warrant, totaling fifty dollars and twenty-four cents. There a second. I'll second. All right. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Now, where is Amy? She's the one who has this. So, um, <clears throat> Carl. Yes. Uh, Village presidents on Rockingham website. Yes. You've been working on that, right? Well, I, I put together a... Um, a, a little sample of what it might look like with some of the information we might want to put on. And I sent it to people in case I couldn't uh, share it, which apparently I can't do. Okay. I, apparently I can't share the screen. Um, so it uh, looks very much like the um, Bellows Falls Village Trustees website. Um, I was proposing that we list the um, trustees and their contact information, if nobody has an objection to that. Is that how Bells Falls and Rockingham are, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They have their uh, mailing addresses on that, on there? Yes. Okay. They have everything. That was, that was in the template that um, we okay. were sent. Okay. Um, and... For mailing address, would you prefer that everybody list the village post office box or would you prefer that we listed our own? Uh, do they have it? Is that what they do in Bells Falls? They just have the village box? Hmm. Uh, hang on a moment and take, let me take a look. Might not be a bad idea. Well, for Bellows Falls, uh, three people um, have their personal addresses listed, either street or post office box, and two people have no address listed. Hmm. So some of them actually have their physical address. Uh, yeah, the street address. Oh. And uh, Deb Wright has a post office box. Well, it might be more professional to just have the village post office box. Um, yeah, that's what I, that was my original thought, but um, the disadvantage of that is we don't all collect the village mail. So Ooh. if something came for Ben, whoever collected the mail would have to get it to him. Well, assuming, if we would assume that if anything came to the book, to Ben as a trustee, it's, not personal, right? Right. 
But if it was something that Ben needed to deal with, he yeah. would come say to you, or yeah. if you opened the box, and then you would have to get it to Ben, and that would put an extra an extra step in the process of Ben getting the message. Well, I'm also thinking about um, uh, the other way, the liability or the whatever, I don't know. I like the idea of listing the village PO box. I mean, in 13, 14 years of doing this, I can't remember anybody mailing me anything as right. a trustee. Right. The contact always comes either by phone or more frequently by email. Right. I, I agree. I like I like the idea for our privacy sake to have the uh, and to make it more professional. Yeah. Um, so, Carl, before you provide that info, could you maybe distribute to us what what information you're going to provide so we make sure we've got the most appropriate uh, phone number and email address? Right. Right. I'll, I can I can go ahead and do that. I left a lot of that blank because I didn't know if anybody would have a, a better format that they preferred. But I'll fill in the, the numbers from the um, annual meeting. Yep. And um, and pass those and pass that around to you. Um, and I had also thought that we might want to list um, some village officers other than the trustees. I thought we might want to list Guy as the moderator and um, Alex as the tax collector and treasurer and um, Celia as the collector of delinquent taxes. I, I was not proposing to put contact information for those people, but just list them. Well, Alex has a um, Saks Riv Gov, a Saks Riv, he has his, uh, an email address that's specifically for the, that's not personal. Oh, that's right, he does. So I would put that because people uh, often have questions for him. Okay. Um, so you don't, you might not have to put the at the post office box 243 for everybody. You just, you could put the name and there's the telephone number and the um, oh, email. Carl, address. can I, can I suggest that you uh, distribute what you're proposing to publish and then we can get comments coming in after that? Well, he right. did, he I'll did do, send us something. Um, did you see what he sent? I didn't. Oh, he sent, he did send that. Oh. Well, but it's incomplete. What? Okay. It doesn't have actual phone numbers. It doesn't have the post office box. But it gives the idea of what but you it want gives to the do. idea, yeah. Yeah. Right, but I think we want to see the actual information. Yeah. Okay. And then I would want everybody whose name is going to be and contact information is going to be uh, published there to, to be okay with it before it goes up. Um, so Guy, since you're here, do you have any objection to being listed on the village webpage as the moderator and to having any contact information for you? Uh, that's, that's fine. Um, and contact uh, could be my personal. Amy. It could be my personal email, Carl, that I think you have. Hello. Okay. Really? Oh. Okay. G that's um, G. It went out with the. Um, yeah. Let me mute myself here. Uh, with the. There it is. Okay, so with your personal email and then yeah, it's G G Payne V T at at Gmail. Yeah, I think that's the one I have. That's the one you you have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, there's a, um, so it would be so much easier if I could share this. Let me try again. No, it says it's disabled.
but Louise is through with her call. We'll see if she can turn that on. Um, so there, um, I have those contacts listed as a column on the um, right hand side, and then the left side is a, a body of text that uh, talks about when the uh, when the trustees meet. Um, where the meetings are posted, um, uh, how you can get onto the mailing list. Um, one thing that I did um, in writing this was to say that the meetings are warned at the official uh, sites on the bulletin boards outside the fire station and outside the market, and that they are, are also posted on the website to make a distinction as not, not making the website an official, an official website, because I don't think we've decided to do that yet. Um, Louise? Are you able to unmute me uh, to enable me to share the screen? Yes. Um, okay. How do I, I just sh do share the screen? Or do I have to be on on you or something? Um, do you have I don't I've never been a host, so I don't know what the host settings are. Uh, probably the same way that you would mute or unmute me wherever that would appear. Okay, here's Amy. She can tell us. All right, you're with us, Amy? <laughs> no. no. Here she is. Hi, Amy. I would suggest that everyone turn your computers on 10 minutes before the meeting to make sure you can, can, can connect. I have nothing but pathetic excuses. I apologize. <laughs> And um, thanks, Louise, so Carl, and Carl for sending them. Carl is asking to share his screen. So I just I just click on share screen. Yep. It says that I'm disabled by the host. What so do you she mean needs you're disabled? To, be able to turn me on. So sometimes you need to make Carl the host oh, for that how, to happen. How do I do that? Um, <laughs> it's probably a drop down menu somewhere. Uh, are you on a computer, Louise? I'm on a laptop, yeah. So my guess is it's at the bottom. I don't see anything there. Reactions, record, record, share screen. Try that. Multiple participants can share simultaneously? Perfectly. OK. That's, that's clicked. Now what do I do? Sharing options? Oh, now, I, now it looks like. Um... What? Who can share? Multiple participants can share simultaneously. Okay. All right. Are you seeing? Oh yeah. Okay. Are you seeing something from yeah, me? We yes. See it now. Okay. So oh. this is this is what I had thrown together as something that we might think about for our web presence. Um. This picture at the top, the, the uh, rendition of the park is the one that um, had been forwarded to us that Chuck had used. And I kind of like it. You too. I, I would be happy to stick with that. But as an alternative, I saw this uh, drone photograph that um, was posted on the Saxton's River page, uh, Facebook, Facebook group. Um, which also is quite nice, um, which we might think we would want to use, but we would have to get the permission of uh, Jennifer Boucher to use that. What, where would we use a photograph? Do we have? Well, 
Um, there's a, a, a photograph that just appears at the top of the page. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, so it would just be the introduction to Saxton's River. Okay. And then beneath that is all of the um, information that we might want to put up there. Yep. Um, and so, uh, Amy, while well, before you came on, we were talking about um, the information for the trustees, and we had thought that it would be more professional to use the village post office box as the mailing address for everybody and to put uh, individuals' phone numbers and um, emails for contacts. Sure. If you have no objection to being included. It looks very professional. I like it a lot. Um, and then for the um, village officers, I thought we would list them, but um, uh, Louise, I think it suggested that for um, Alex, we might want to put his um, PO box or we might want to put PO boxes. Uh, phone no, number. not his PO box, his email and his phone his number. Email, sorry. Yeah. Email for um, email and phone number for the um, for the um, village officers. We probably want to check with him, but that sounds great to me. Very, very slick and easy for people to send him questions. Okay. Um, I think our titles are, are, aren't we chair and vice chair? You're right. I don't want to be president. <laughs> um, what, what did you propose in the insert calendar here? section um the town has a has a calendar um that the, that appears all sorts of places for and it shows the month of october and highlights days at which meetings mm. are happening so mm. the fifth is highlighted for us and the sixth is highlighted for the select board yep and um i think that's that's not anything we would have to do um it would just show up Oh, okay. So you wouldn't have to maintain that? I, no, we wouldn't have to maintain that at all. Okay. Um, we would just ask them to insert their calendar there and then they automatically put things in. Um, so there, are there are there links where you have highlighted that means that if you click on that link, you go to our agenda? Yeah. Well, okay. if, you, if you click on this link, you go to the... Um, you go to the uh, minutes and agendas page of the um, right of the town website, and then you have to scroll down to right to find our information. Right, and I, I haven't been able to figure out a way where you can jump directly to the Saxton's River section. Okay. Um, Would this all be on one page? What you're showing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would be. And, and is there, where would there be uh, a place from which it's linked? Do you know what okay. I mean? Okay, so um, this is, if, if you look at the, um, if you just go to the home page for the town, town website. Yeah. They would add Village of Saxton's River in the title they would add our logo, which we don't have yet. And then under the boards and committees, like Bellows Falls Village trustees, there would be a Saxton's River Village trustees link. Okay. okay. And then that would take us to whatever we have. Okay. Like this. Um, So let's see. Um, so there's some some verbiage about where we meet and um, uh, where the warnings are posted. And as I said, I I 
distinguished the um, official postings as being on the bulletin boards from the uh, website as being an official warning. And I don't know if we want to continue making that distinction or not. But since we have been so far, I, I, I made it here. That, I think that takes care of our concern. Yeah. yeah. Is the community um, center um, the fire station? Yeah. Yeah. So the um, community center and fire station. It's it's the community. Oh. I would say community building slash fire station. Slash helps me. I thought from reading that that we must have a community center that I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you missed it. Small town, but you know. Okay, community building slash fire station. You got an extra, after needed, you got an extra something there, comma. Got an extra, well, I'm a lousy typist, what can I say? And you know, Carl, they don't, they no longer have two spaces between me, uh, sentences. Yeah, but I'm old, I'm old school, <laughs> I still do. So it doesn't have to come up now, but I've been wondering if given COVID regulations, whether we need to continue having a presence at the fire station. We don't, we don't need to under the law, correct? No, we don't. And is, it seems like it's continually an issue trying to get someone there. Well, it's not that it's an issue, but uh, this is, this is what it, this, what he has written is what it generally is. But, and in the time of COVID, of course, things are different. So I don't think we need to spell that out as. I, I think it's generally speaking a good idea for there to be somebody at the fire station because there are people who don't have access to Zoom. Yeah. They don't have a computer. They don't have a cell phone. Um, I admit there aren't very many people like that, but I think they exist. And I think having somebody physically at the fire station is a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Ben has been doing it most of the time. And Ben, I can be there if you can't, if I, if I know ahead of time, uh, to, you know, to, to feed my horses early and get down there in time to, to hook up. Um, I could take a turn too. So... I, I, I think it's a good idea to do that, to, for somebody to be there. Okay. Um, I, and I, I agree that it's probably not, I, I, I don't think we're not required to do it, but I think, again, in the interest of being public and open and making us, us available for everybody, it's a good idea. What do the rest of you think? Yeah, you said you said that meetings can be attended virtually. That that yeah. people don't have to. It doesn't say anything about um, if you can't if you want to attend in person, but you think it should. Um, well, I think that's sort of implied because it says that we meet at the community. Okay. Building. Um, and if people have a question, they can always let us know. Yeah. All right. Okay, looks good. I can, I can, I can clarify that. Any other comments, Ben? Guy? No, I um, understand that uh, Carl's going to uh, distribute this once he fills in the details and then I'll, we'll yeah, I'll fill we'll it the after that. And then we can all look at it and, uh, and comment back on it and, um, decide what to do with it from there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sounds good. Looks so I have some me. more questions there um, as to what other procedures or policies we might want to link to. That's something that we, sh we should discuss. Um, once the bylaws are um, polished up a little, um, it seems to me it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a link for them there. Um, I would suggest that at, at a minimum, they be retyped. I'm working my way through them. Um, and they're fine as far as I've made it. 
Um, I, I don't think there's anything that needs to be revised, but they're, they're, they're not in a PDF. They're in a sort of old typewritten document that Louise sent to me as a, a photo. Um, so I, I mean, it seems to me that would be appropriate so people know how we are appointed, elected. I mean, most of the bylaws are the mundane stuff about what we have the power to do and how our organization is created. Yes, it would be good um, to let people see those because they do say when the village meeting is. Mm -hmm. um, um, and it would be good to have, I mean, we. I, I don't know of other policies and procedures, but we are working on that um, procedure around procurement right, and to have we, that listed. No, that, that wouldn't be that'd be too much i think i don't know i i don't think it's i i think if we have a, a policy we should either list them all or not list any of them mm -hmm. i like looking at the ones um for the village trustees i mean i was surprised to find how many policies and procedures there are and it, it's just illustrative of the kind of work we do and um if a question comes up there's a place to Send people. Yeah. It would be also good to have a link to the um, annual report. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Now, how many pages can we have? Well, um, this, this is one, and you're talking about another couple. So, all of the documents, it turns out, are not actually on the um, Rockingham site. I looked at, um, I made this comment that Bellows Falls and Rockingham, the links to their documents, like their policies and procedures are housed at uh, box, mostly at box.com and oh, really? some Squarespace. Huh. And it turns out that that's where our agendas and minutes are as well. Oh. I didn't realize that, but none of them are actually on the, the, uh, the town the town um, bandwidth. Um, and these, I, as I understand them, I've never dealt with either of them, but they're like um, Dropbox. Oh, just yeah. a place where you can park a document and link to it. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, it should probably be pretty easy to set up an account, say box.com for the village. And I can investigate what that entails, if you'd like. And then we would just, whoever uploads the documents would just um, uh, upload them there and um, then put a hyperlink, uh, name the document here on this page and put a hyperlink to it. Mm -hmm. I bet Leah Clark could give us a lesson on that. Um, yeah. Now, I would guess that this is all going to have to be, this this page is going to have to be um, uh, done in an HTML, um, HTML template. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't do it that way because I don't have an editor anymore. Sure. I, I gave up doing that when I stopped teaching. <laughs> um, but and I would expect that Leah would want us to use hers in it what I would probably do would just be send her the information, something like this that we would like, and she'll enter it, at least to start out with, um, and get it looking the way she likes it. And then we'll take it over from there. Now, Chuck has said that he will authorize, I don't know how many of us, at least one of us, to make changes and to put up documents and so forth. And I know, Amy, you'd volunteer to do that, and I'd sure. volunteer to do that. I think it makes sense for me to upload the agendas in the minutes, since I'm already handling those. Mm -hmm. I have no great desire to upload everything if you want to play with it, too. Okay. Um, I just think it's it's good with something like this to have a little redundancy. I, know, think, I think it's probably a good idea for two of us, too. So um, do you want to talk to Chuck about that, or shall I? Or uh, I can. Okay. Uh, do you want to? You're the, I mean, you, I know, have been working with him. If, if you'd prefer to, that's fine too. 
Okay, well, I will just going to email them anyway to update them on where we were on this page and the logo and so forth. So I'll just I'll just mention that to them that if you and I can both be able to do that and we'll we'll split the duties or one of yep. us is disposed, the other one can. Do you want to open the topic of um, an account at box.com or Squarespace when you write to him as well? Um, yeah, I think he might just refer me to Leah for that. But, sure. Um, yeah, I can, I can. Um, so Amy, what do you have for us? Do you want me to, can you share a screen in the same way? Yep. I assume I can. You should be able to. Um, if we're we're done with this, I think so. Okay, so Thank I'll you. get I'll get stuff together and I'll send it around to everybody tomorrow probably. How do you get? How do we get rid of your screen? Oh, there, like that. I do it. Oh, so Amy, you can do your screen now. Can you see it? Oh, has started. Yeah. So, uh, it's been too long since I've used PowerPoint. I don't remember how to go through the, uh, um, let's see. Is that on the left? Slideshow. So, so here are the basic logos. The one on the left is Rockingham's, the old we meeting house. And we the don't one see on it. We don't. Oh, you see don't it. see it. Well, it's it was it your. You have to move over somehow. Um, I see it. I only see the town of Bella, Rockingham Village of Bell's Hall. Uh, keyboard screen. Oh, there it is. Okay. No, now I see. Now I see number one. Now yeah. I so th our... these are Louise's. Yeah. That she gave to us. Okay. I'm just gonna whip through them. Okay. And then um, I found some of the t-shirts, uh, except for that one's not very useful. Um, so I think from the first two logos, um, you can see that we have the choice of a, of a very basic black and white logo, or we could go with something a little more dramatic. And I think I could only go back to a certain point um, I love this one, but I don't know that it really represents Bellows Falls, the um, Mary Lou Masuko shirt of the parade. I, this one I adore, the Celebrate, the t-shirt of 2013, yeah. which has a tree and the historical society and a firework. And here's the uh, inn for 2011 and an odd one from Connor McArdle freedom, not particularly useful. And then I put in the uh, quilt because if you wanted to look at a lot of those, of course, all those t-shirts are there. And um, I think the last one I got was 2008, which is, um, oops, it's easy being green. Um, I also looked to, at other logos locally and here's the Rockingham Library, which is very basic. It's just the name and then this little uh, icon of a book. And I think that is all, oh, Our Place. Yeah, I guess I found a couple others. So Our Place is purple. Um, again, it's just the name and a, a little tag underneath it, social service with kind of an imaginative um, plate made out of the building and that's it. So I don't know what your pleasure is. I mean, it seems to me the web page should go up now, and we can continue discussing the logo. But that's that's one person's thought. Are uh, the Bell's Falls and and Rockingham are they black and white? Uh, Bell's Falls is in color. Oh, the village is in color. Do you want me to go back to that? Yeah. What do those look like? Uh, in a minute. Let's see if I can do this. So. Does that make it bigger for you? I don't see anything. I don't see you at all. Okay, let's... You're not sharing it, I guess. Yeah. 
Okay, now you start. Now, so yeah. Yeah. there is the belt. That's the one for the whole town, Rockingham. Right. And here's the village. Oh. Yeah. Historic River Village. Hmm. Very iconic. Mm -hmm. um, and it does occur to me, I mean, we're Saxons River. If anybody ought to have river in their, in their logo, maybe it should be us. We're a historic village, river village too. Yeah. So I think it's going to take a little time to figure this out. Does um, anyone, anyone have any strong preferences? What about you, Guy? You have any opinion <clears throat> as a resident of the village? Not yet. It took me a while to realize what, in fact, Amy what was doing. So I gather we're searching for a logo. Right. Well, we're looking at um, some things that are already extant. Yeah. So Louise had a number based on the historical society. I can bring that one up again. Based on the historical society. Uh, that must be an early engraving or a, a recent no, engraving. It's actually done by Mel DeLong. Of course it is. For the Historical oh, wow. Society. Yeah. Louise, is that the logo that you've always put on the letterhead that you've used for the village? I don't think I ever put one on the on I letterhead. I don't. None of the letterheads no. that I have have a logo on. No. Just a header. Hmm. So, Guy, just so you know, the other thing we had thought about was taking a portion of a shirt yeah. and using that. So, yeah. and I love the color and the, um, I mean, there, there's some great local art in those t-shirts. So that, that also was kind of an intriguing idea. Okay. All right. Um, I, I think the most recent the, one. Who said that? Who said, I think, I, th I think that the, those t-shirt logos, Feature Fourth of July pretty prominently. Well, would, that would not that sure would have to be eliminated. eliminated. Yeah, I'm just wondering if we eliminated Fourth of July or the year. Yeah. How much would be left? Yeah, right. For some of those. So that what about this great. one though? This one. That one. Great. That one would would work nicely. You that one would that. work. Yeah. You could you could clip the top and the bottom off of that and. And that, that well. complies about the 4th of July, right? Yep, yep. I, I don't know who did this shirt. Some of the, these are all taken from the Facebook page. I might and be able to tell you if I look in my records. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is 2013, so. Yeah, yeah. I have a list of who, most of the artists. And you have older ones also, Louise, correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I think we can eliminate some, but then we'll narrow it down. This is pretty striking. I like the idea of the having the incorporation date. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any comments? Okay, anything yeah. else on this subject? Um, Amy, could you um, send that PowerPoint around so we can take a look? Sure, at easy, nothing could be easier. Okay. Um, if you I could include me too, Amy, that'd be fine. Sure. Thank you. Um, Committee reports, wastewater treatment plan. There's no committee, re there's no report on that. I well, I've got a small report on the procurement procedure. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, that's right. Um, I sent out to uh, Alex and to the, uh, the auditor for comment. I got a comment today from uh, the auditor. I've not heard back from Alex. So um, my thought was maybe to you know, we can we can move ahead at this point and and adopt it and just incorporate the the comment that the auditor made, or we could wait for Alex to weigh in. The auditor commented, "This is Josh's comment that we should have the actual form included." Is that what he said? Uh, what he said was that uh, we could expand the 
the form to include the step-by-step -step procedural instructions as part of the form. So mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Amy, can you um, get your screen off of there somehow? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll stop sharing. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Um, do we have to do anything formal or we just already did approve the uh, procurement policy? Yeah, I guess my only question is whether you, uh, you know, I was hoping to hear back from uh, Alex because he's the one that initially uh, put together the, the information um, that I built off of. So it, it, if you think it's okay, I'd rather maybe give it another couple of weeks and see if I can get feedback from him. Okay, as long as we have time, yeah, okay. Well, I think we're okay, right? As long as we right. have the- uh, As long as it's under, underway. Yeah, as long as we say that we're working on the policy, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I guess Matt doesn't have a report this this week and we're hoping he, in two weeks, he will have a report about the fire station building. Uh, is there anything else, any other business? No? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Wow. Um, just to just to recap for a minute, um, should I email Alex to ask if he is okay with having his phone and email listed? Well, he, 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 the, you could ask him about the phone, but the email is a village email, so mm -hmm. he doesn't well, have to. Just to point out that we're, we're putting up this page yeah. and let him yeah. know that his, yeah. his contact information will be much more available. Yeah. You could send him the whole thing. What you okay. Well, uh, I can just I can just include him. Okay, great. When I, when I distributed it all, and you too, Guy, and so you can you can see it. Guy, do you have any words of wisdom? <laughs> From no, I just appreciate you, um, even after the public comment, reaching out to me and saying, Guy, do you have any comments? And I was just very surprised by, by that. So really? I'll be ready for it in the future. Well, there is number two on the <laughs> no, agenda. No guarantee of wisdom. <laughs> public comment period is number two on the agenda. No. Nope. Every week. All right. We'll be well, meeting, meeting in two weeks. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all. Thanks, Louise. Nice short aye. meeting. Is Kathy home? She is. Good. Tell her we said hello. Okay, I will. Bye. Thanks. Goodbye, folks. Bye, bye. guy. <sighs> okay. I click on end, but it doesn't end. <laughs> And this is still there, Carl. I'm still here, yes. How do it's I get an internal meeting? You know, you never want to be the last person, the first person to leave. <laughs> and meeting for all.